Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about complement C3 blood test. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is this test. Complement C3 is a blood test that checks the activity of a certain protein. This protein is a part of the complement system. This complement system is nearly a group of 60 proteins that are present in blood plasma and surface of the cells. These proteins work with the immune system and help to protect the body from the various infections. It also helps by removing the foreign bodies and the dead products. It is very rare for people to inherit some condition that causes the deficiency of these complement proteins. These people are prone to certain infections and autoimmune disorders. There are nine major complement proteins. They are labeled from C1 to C9. In today's video, we'll be talking about C3. Now, let us see how is this test done. For this test, a small sample of blood is withdrawn from the vein of your arm. The sample is then collected and sent to the lab. The results usually come in two to three days depending on the lab. So, do you need any preparations for this test? There are almost no preparations needed for this test. But make sure you inform your doctor about all the medications that you are taking, including the ODCs that is over-the-counter pills. So, are there any risks or side effects to this test? There are almost no risks or side effects to this test. But make sure the needle is sterilized and the area is well cleaned. Now, let us know why is this test performed or why is this test done? This test is used to detect any autoimmune disorder or autoimmune condition. It is also used to monitor and check the effectiveness of the treatment. This test can also be done for the following conditions. Number one, fungal infections. Number two, gram-negative septicemia. Number three, parasitic infections such as malaria. Number four, shock. And number five, PNH. Now let us talk about the results and the normal range. The normal range for this test varies from 88 to 201 milligrams per deciliter. Anything higher than this or lower than this is considered abnormal. Also, these normal values may vary from lab to lab. If your test report values are higher than the normal, it may indicate cancer or ulcerative colitis. If the values are lower than the normal, it may indicate various conditions. These conditions may include bacterial infection, cirrhosis, hepatitis, malnutrition, kidney transplant rejection. Having abnormal levels of C3 may not necessarily mean that there was a health condition. There are a lot of factors that affect the levels of C3. So your diagnosis will be based on your medical history, this test report and other test reports. After the diagnosis is confirmed, your doctor will talk with you to develop a treatment plan that works best for you. Also, it's important for you to talk to your doctor or consult your doctor before interpreting your report by yourself or before starting or stopping any medication. It is equally important for you to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided in the description below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.